See, this is why people don't like the police, okay? A man who's handcuffed, he's being escorted out by US Marshals. And then this happens, let's just show the video. Okay, now producers get ready. I'm going to show that video again. I want to provide some context to this video. This individual was arrested by the US Marshals in Mississippi. This happened in Jackson, Mississippi. Now I've watched this video multiple times in slow frame and what I've noticed is that as one of the marshals, one of the agents, they are walking out. He says, this is the one who said you suck. Mm. That's what one officer says. To the officer that hit him, I want you to pay real close attention because the media, they're saying either it was a punch or a slap. I don't think it was either. If you look at the marshal's hand, it looks as if he has something in his hand. Play it again. At this part, okay, watch where his hand is. Then he tells him, Good morning, B word, okay? But if you look at that right hand, it looks as if he has something in that hand. Now, obviously, we need more information to verify that. But you can clearly see it does indicate the man has something in his hand. Now, I know we would like to focus on that one marshal, right? But did any of those other marshals do anything? No, not a damn thing. See, this is the culture. Obviously, it's against policy to strike a man in the face, open hand, closed fist, or with a weapon. Obviously, that's against policy, but culture, culture eats policy alive once again. None of those marshals, none of those men who according to the marshal service, they stand for justice, integrity, and service. None of those men stood up. None of those men said, whoa, wait a minute. None of those men even tried to intervene when the guy, after criminally assaulting the suspect, walked over to the suspect. Nobody, they would have allowed that marshal to continue to assault that handcuffed man if he wanted to. US Marshal Service, they are looking into the incident involving a member of their task force. Video sent to WLBT from a ring camera. Shows a suspect in handcuffs being either punched or slapped, that's according to them. In the face as he walks out of a home in Jackson. Marshals did not comment on the specifics of the incident, but provided this statement. Let me read the statement. The US Marshal Service is aware of an incident that occurred this morning involving members of our multi agency Gulf Coast Regional Task Force in Mississippi. We take any allegation of misconduct by our personnel or task force partners seriously. And we are currently gathering information regarding the incident. Uh, the handcuffed person has not been identified, um, nor has the reason for the arrest. Let me make it very clear because I know when we post this on social media and YouTube, people are going to start saying, well, well, why was he being arrested? I don't give a damn why he was being arrested. I don't care. Maybe he had a legitimate warrant. This is not the issue. The issue is, that police officer was unprofessional and criminal. That's the issue. He decided to handle and apprehend a suspect in that manner. That's the issue. And if you're talking about police officers doing what they're supposed to do and community supporting them, who in the hell can support that? You can't support that. A witness who did not want to be identified said she was asleep when the officers kicked Open the door of the home. This is a direct quote, I'm gonna read it exactly. They drugged them, they hit them, and they was handcuffed through this whole ordeal. She said, she says the officers also ransacked the house. Once again, out of control cop, not the end of the story.
out of control cops, out of control agents. Nobody did anything, no intervening, no duty to intervene. Nobody stopped this martial culture. Jackson, your thoughts? Well, my thoughts go to the fact that this is being investigated at all because what's there to investigate? He just clearly got smacked in the face with his hands behind his back. The officers had the situation completely in control in terms of having the suspect contained. And this was completely unnecessary through and through. And really until strict consequences become the norm, this type of behavior will continue to be the norm. Because of what you pointed out, the culture is what really, really persists. It's a bros club. You come in, everyone looks out for each other. It's kind of like a big family. And so, you know, it's, I live out here in, a, I'm from St. Louis, but I live in New Jersey right next to New York. And, you know, a lot of the corrupt cops out here and the culture of that and the history of that stems from you don't tell on anybody, you always look out. And if you do, you become taboo within the precinct. You become taboo within the jurisdiction. So because of the culture, it makes it difficult to even step forward at all. If you are somebody who maybe has your head on more straightforward, the system itself prevents any type of consequences from coming about. Yeah, sounds like gang culture to me.